Hi and welcome to Shrovsa's classes. Today we are going to be dealing with some basic questions on macroeconomics. For any doubts, queries or full videos in this course you can call or WhatsApp at the number given on the screen or in the description below. Let's begin with a very simple question. Looking at the newspaper for the past few days, what do you observe? What are the new economic statistics that have been released and how do you interpret in these statistics? A large number of economic statistics are released regularly. These include the following on the screen. First, GDP. GDP is nothing but the market value of all final goods and services produced in a year. The unemployment rate is the percentage of the civilian labor force who do not have a job. Corporate profits. It is the accounting profits remaining after taxes of all manufacturing corporations. It gives us an indication of general financial health of the corporate sector. CPI or consumer price index is a measure of the average price that consumers pay for the goods they buy. Changes in the CPI are a measure of inflation. And lastly, trade balance. It is the difference between value of goods exported abroad and the value of goods imported from abroad. Moving on to another question. Now we'll calculate a GDP. We are given a simple economy. Over here, a farmer grows a bushel of wheat and sells it to a miller for one dollar. The miller turns the wheat into flour and then sells the flour to a baker for three dollars. The baker uses the flour to make bread and sells the bread to an engineer for six dollars. Well, the engineer eats the bread. What is the value added by each person? Let's see. Value added by each person equals value of goods produced minus the input cost of materials. Let's see the value added of each of the individual in this question. Now the value added by the farmer is one dollar. The value added by Miller is two dollar. This is because she sells the flour to the baker for three dollars but pays only one dollar for the flour. Now the value added by the baker is three dollars. This is because she sells the bread to the engineer at six dollars but pays the miller for the flour only three dollars. Thus now we calculate the GDP. The GDP equals to total value added that is one dollar, two dollar and three dollar by farmer, miller and baker. And this comes to six dollar. Notice here that the GDP equals the final value of the good. That is six dollars. Now another question. Now we are given a situation when a woman marries her butler. After they are married, her husband continues to wait on her as before, but as a husband rather than as an employee. We need to figure out how does this marriage affect GDP and how should it affect the GDP. After marriage, the GDP decreases by amount of butler's salary. This is because actual GDP is imperfect measure of economic activity. This is because the value of some goods and services is left out. Once the butler's work becomes a part of his household's course, his services are no longer constituted in the GDP. As this example illustrates, GDP does not include the value of any output produced in the home. Similarly, GDP does not include other goods and services such as imputed rent on durable goods and any illegal trade. 
Now we need to place each of the following transactions in one of the four components of expenditure that is consumption, investment, government purchases and net exports. First we are given Boeing sells an airplane to the Air Force. This is considered in government purchases as Air Force is direct unit of the government and whatever transaction takes place it takes place from government's accounts. Next Boeing sells an airplane to American Airlines. This is considered as an investment. American Airlines is a private entity. It buys Boeing planes and the these planes are considered as an economic entity for the American Airlines which pays it further for in incurring further revenue for the company. Third, Boeing sells an airplane to Air France. This is in fact considered as net exports. Notice here we consider America as the home country. Air France being in a foreign country, all expenditure comes from export accounts that is from the country of France to America. Moving on to other questions. Now in the next question we are given that Abby consumes only apples. In year one red apples cost one dollar each and green apple cost two dollar each. Abby buys ten red apples. In year two red apples cost dollar two and green apple dollar one. Abby again buys ten green apples. Now we need to compute a consumer price index for each year keeping year 1 as the base year in which the consumer basket is fixed. How does our index change from year 1 to year 2? Let's see. Now consumer price index equals to second year price of red apples into quantity of red apples of the initial year that is the base year we considered as year 1 a plus price of green apples in year 2 plus into quantity of green apples in the first year divided by price in the first year into quantity in the first year of red apples plus price in the first year of green apples into quantity of green apples in the first year putting in the values we find CPI equals to 2 does according to CPI prices have doubled from year 1 to year 2 let's see another part of this question now we need to find nominal spending on apples in each year by Abby and we need to see how it changes from year 1 to year 2 nominal spending equals to price in the second year of red apples into quantity of red apples in the second year plus price of green apples in the second year into quantity of green apples in the second year and this is equals to ten dollars now you know to answer the second part of the number b we figure out the real spending on apples in each year Therefore, real spending equals to thus real spending equals price of red apples into in the first year into quantity of red apples in the second year plus price of green apples in the first year into quantity of green apples in the second year and this is equals to twenty dollars. Thus, average spending rises from ten dollars to twenty dollars. Now we will be given some certain situations. We need to figure out what happens to the real GDP. First, 
a hurricane in Florida forces Disney World to shut down for a month. What happens to the real GDP? The real GDP falls as no service production by Disney while it is closed. This corresponds to decrease in economic well-being because the income of workers and shareholders of Disney falls and people's consumption of Disney's services falls as a result the total amount of services that is produced in a country falls discovery of a new easy to grow strain of wheat increases farm harvest this affects gdp by real gdp rises because the original capital and labor in farm production now produces more wheat the production of wheat increases this pro- corresponds to an increase in economic well-being of the society since people can now consume more wheat the total amount of production and consumption increases thus real gdp rises increased hostility between unions and mar- management sparks a rash of strikes due to strikes fewer production happens and this results in real gdp to fall this accurately reflects a fall in economic well-being firms throughout the economy experiences falling demand causing them to lay off workers this causes real gdp to fall because the firm that lay off workers throughout the economy produce less this decreases economic well-being because workers income falls throughout the country or the economy and there are few goods for people to buy now let's see an important phenomenon nowadays environmental laws Congress passes new environmental laws that prohibit firms from using production methods that emit large quantities of pollution. As a result, let's see what happens. Due to such environmental laws, firms try to decrease pollution emission. This raises their cost of production. In turn, the economic production decreases because firms tries to minimize pollution and maximize their revenue due to which real gdp is likely to fall with this we come to an end of another amazing video please like subscribe and contact us for any doubts suggestions as well as for full videos of our courses